Hi there guys, it's Rob here. Uh, obviously, Kite 1000, so I'm on YouTube. Um, basically, I wanted to share with you guys uh, an experience that God, shared, uh, God uh, gave to me, or a place where God took me, um, on, uh, on Wednesday, which is uh, Wednesday the, it's the 14th of um, July 2010, this year, obviously. Basically, what happened is I was laying in my bed and God said to me, I, heard, I felt, and I heard God say to me, Robert, make a YouTube video and call it All Humans Go to Hell by Default. And I thought, wow, Lord, that's a bit of a crazy title of a video. And as I was laying there thinking about what God said, I thought, you know what, for real, all humans do go to hell by default. Because if you die without Christ, you go to hell, you go to a lake of fire, or whatever. You go to a place of damnation. Simple as that. And I ain't going to lie to you. We hear a lot of things about Christ is good, and which he is. Christ is awesome, full of grace and truth, beautiful, loves everybody. That's right. But Christ is also a judgment, a judge. And you read about his judgment. Um, in Revelation 20, I think it is, or 21, no, chapter 20, you know, the white throne judgment, so we can see that God is also a judge, he's a perfect judge, and he judges sin, and all humans were born into sin, or, yeah, we're all born into sin, so we're all um, liable to go to hell, simple as that, by default, unless you give your love to Christ, so anyway, as I was laying there thinking about these scriptures in my head, I started hearing people screaming, and I thought, oh no, here we go, I heard people screaming, and then I heard out of all these voices, I heard one man, and he was saying this, he was saying, stupid, 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 stupid. Why didn't I listen? Why didn't I listen? Why didn't I listen? And I thought, wow, man, that's, that's too deep. And then I heard another man say, why didn't I listen? I should have I should have went. I should have listened. I should have went. I should have listened. I should have went. That's what the other guy was saying. And I heard a woman, she was praying, saying, Lord, forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Give me another chance. But this woman... I started to see this woman. This woman was on fire as she was praying that prayer. She was on fire. Then straight after that, I ended up in a, in the same place where I ended up the last time in my last vision that God gave me a year and a half ago of hell. And I was in that same place, a cavern. And on this video here, obviously I've got some uh, pictures to try and give you a little slideshow, so to speak, to give you like, like an idea of what I saw. It, it did quite, some of the pictures probably, just, just to give you some sort of idea of what I was seeing. Anyway, I was back in this cavern again, and obviously this, this cavern had lava coming down, the, it was a cavern, had lava coming down the middle, and there was people in it burning. Then, as I was coming into this cavern, um, I went on to the top of the cavern, because I know that the two sides go like that, then like that, yeah, and the lava's in the middle here. I was on the top of the cavern, I was up here. So as I was there, I saw people on their knees praying, and they were on fire, they were praying, and their bodies were on fire. Yeah, they were on fire and they were praying, asking God to forgive them and to let them out. But this is the thing, as they were praying, their prayers were going up. Then they were hitting, it was hitting like a, an invisible ceiling and it was coming back down again. And I saw that, I felt, God, I felt God say to me that in hell your prayers are not heard. You can pray all, all day long, makes no difference. Your prayers don't go nowhere. When you're on the earth, when we pray, our prayers go up to heaven and God receives them. When you're in hell, God, God don't receive your prayers when you're down there. That's it. It's all over. Your prayers hit an invisible ceiling and they come back down again. They don't go, they, your prayers don't ascend into heaven from hell. That's it. Anyway, as I was standing there watching these people on fire and praying while they're on fire, I looked up and I saw a whirlpool, or uh, yeah, a whirlpool um, in the air. It was black because the whole sky was dark. It was very dark in there, dark there. There was a whirlpool spinning around. And as I was looking at this whirlpool, I saw people falling out of it, out of this whirlpool, and some of them were falling into the, into the lava. And as I was looking around, um, it's like a lot I saw for miles around, a big dark wilderness. I saw for like hundreds of miles around. And as I was looking, I saw whirlpools um, in the distance spinning, and I saw people falling out of it. And I don't know what was over over that side, but all I know is that it's not going to be nothing nice. If this is hell, it doesn't matter where you land, it's not going to be nice. And then God will show me that all the people that died without Christ, they're coming through this whirlpool and, and falling <clears throat> straight down in, in, into that place where I was in hell. Simple as that. You know, people say that when, when they go to heaven, they see a bright light and, you know, and they walk up and it's all bright light. In hell, it's the other way around. It's black darkness. You, they're spinning around in a whirlpool and come flying out. And it's just, they're in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Trust me. Anyway, I then moved from that place and I went over to the cavern, looked at the cavern to my right and as I was looking down, I saw the cavern walls and I saw holes dug out and I saw prison bars, okay, and on these prison bars there weren't no door and so 
you know, like the rock face had been carved out. You know, had a, like had rooms in it, rooms like that. Like like on um, if you if you've seen um, what's that film called? Uh, the Chronicles of Riddick when they're inside that prison and they let that mad dog out. <clears throat> Those sort of the the the, the cells were cut, carved out into the wall. The same thing. And I saw a man sitting inside there on a chair. He looked not a chair, like a like a wooden seat. And he had his hands in his head like this. And he's going, why am I here? Why am I here? How did I get here? Why am I here? And that's it. And it's like pure confusion coming from him. And he was just sitting on this stone rock. And he just wasn't going, he was in his cell. The cell's got no doors, just bars from top to bottom. And he wasn't going nowhere. It was like a, a five by five, five foot by five foot, or four, four foot by four foot square cell. Carved out in the middle of the rock, which is overlooking like um, lava. Because when you look down, there's all lava there and people are in it burning. Uh, anyway, then beside that, I, I, I felt myself, it's like I was being taken into a corridor, a dark cave. And as I was going down this cave, I saw a short cell, about knee high, but it was very long, like about six foot long, but up, only up to my knees, so only about this, this big. I saw a man inside there laying down, and I saw these worms. They just appeared from nowhere, covered him, ate his flesh off, went back into the ground again, and it was a skeleton. Then the flesh came back on the skeleton again, then the worms appeared again, ate off his flesh and disappeared again. Then, he's, then, the, then the skeleton re-got his uh, flesh back on and it kept on going over and over and over again. And I thought, no man, this is, this is too much. Then I came out of that cave. Then when I came out of the, the cave, I was like drawn back out of the cave. Um, I saw, I saw, um, when I, I was like came back up again and, and I saw in the wilderness, it's like I, I appeared like in the wilderness, and I saw a, a crater like on the moon, like you got big craters, but this crater was full up with lava or with, with hot fire. I saw people inside it burning and they were trying to get out. But as I was trying to get out, there was like a dark force pushing them or holding them back in. And these people were screaming trying to get out, but they, they wasn't allowed out. And they were in this crater burning and I thought to myself, you know what man, this, these sorts of, sorts of vision is just a bit deep. And let me show you something. I perceived that the people that were there, they, they, they had no, no reproductive organs. Very deep. I perceived that the women had no wombs and the men had no, no reproductive, no fruit in their loins, to, 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 to put it nicely. <laughs> they had no, no, they had no re re reproductive organs. And God was saying they had their, their bits, but the internal bit, the internal mechanics of the reproductive organs were not there. And God was showing me that there is no fruitfulness. There's no fruitfulness in hell. There's nothing there. No fruitfulness. You can't have children there. There's nothing. Anything that's fruitful has been taken away. Let me just show you guys something here. Yeah? This message might not be for you, and you know, you might. Some people might have some objections, but I know that this message and this vision that I had, I weren't sleeping. I, my eyes were open when I saw all this. I was laying on my bed, with my eyes open when I saw all this. Let me show you something here. Yeah. This, message, this message is going to be for someone out there that is not sure if they want to be, if they want to get saved or not. And let me tell you something here. Yeah. Give it up to Christ. Because that place is not a place that I would wish my worst enemy to be. Because that place is not a place to be. Um, God loves you and he wants you to give your life to him. And he wants to receive you as his own. But you have to make a decision because you, you've got to make decisions. Because God's given you free will to make that decision. And some of you are saying, oh no, load of rubbish, load of rubbish, load, load of rubbish. And uh, some of you are saying, no, no, I've got issues this, I've got issues with that, issues, issues. Yeah, let me show you something here. Yeah? You don't want to be the person that I heard saying, stupid, stupid, stupid. Why don't I listen to Kyle 1000? Why don't I listen to God? You, you're, that's what you're going to be saying if you die about Christ. 